Theft Auto Online PvP video. My name is Darkseid. This is my personal top five list for the most toxic, trashy tactics that tryhards, toxic tryhards love to abuse in Grand Theft Auto Online. See, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of my friends that are tryhards that, that are not toxic. They just like to PvP. And they PvP with dignity, okay? They don't blow themselves up. They don't fucking hide off the radar. So this is more what toxic tryhards love to abuse. So you guys know yesterday, if you were watching my live stream, I got orbed like, what, five, four or five times within like 10 minutes? Something like that. And then it's funny because all those players, they came in, they orbed me, and then they fucking left. They split, right? So... Talking about number five is the orbital cannon. So uh, there's only one good thing about owning an orbital cannon. This thing is used for nothing other than griefing, blowing up people's cargo, being very toxic. But the only time you'll catch me using it is if there's someone that's like a jet griefer in the lobby, blowing up people's shit, um, you know, decimating everyone in the lobby. I'll hop on here and I'll spend the 750k. I'll bite the bullet and blow up their jet just to get them out of the jet. You know what I mean? Just just so they can't, like, grief people anymore or blow up any more cargo. So, I would rather do it than somebody that doesn't have that much money because I have plenty of money in the game. I'd rather spend my money and for the sake of the lobby and take that person out of the jet just to, you know, do the whole lobby a favor, basically. Even if they're out of the jet for, like, three or five minutes, that's still a chance for someone to finish delivering their stuff. That's how I look at it. So, I don't mind spending the money to do it. And, uh, but there's people that have to come in and they orb me and then they leave instantly. Like, what does that tell you right there? And it, and it doesn't take much skill to operate this thing. It's such a bullshit, trashy tactic. I don't even know why it's in the game. It it's, serves no purpose, to be honest. Uh, but it's $900,000 to buy it. Don't buy it. Please don't be one of those orbital cannon people. All right. Um, and then there used to be no cooldown on it, but now there's a cooldown. So you used to be able to orb people pretty much back to back with this thing. And it was fucking crazy, man, back in the day. But uh, Rockstar finally got their shit together on that, and they put a, a you know, a time, cooldown timer on it. So, okay, moving on to the next thing. We're going to go ahead and teleport over to the, um, to the, what is it? The Kasatka real quick. So, number four is going to be abusing... The Kasatka missiles. And also, I, I guess I could kind of put uh, the Avenger missiles into this as well. Because you can get on these in thermal and basically just kill everybody. You know what I mean? You could see where your target's at, even if they're hiding off radar. So that's what makes these so dangerous. The other guy, the other day, there was a guy that killed me probably about four or five times. And he's like, why are you just standing still letting me kill you? I'm like, dude, because it's your kills don't matter to me, bro. I mean, to be honest, that's not... You know what I mean? That's, I mean, I understand if you want to get like one or two kills with it, but don't sit in this fucking thing all day. You know what I mean? It's not, it, that's not PvP, bro. Come on. And I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to be like, well, it's in the game. Stop crying, blah, blah, blah. And that's usually the people that are the ones doing it that say that stuff like that. But yeah, you got to understand, man. I've, I've been on for a while and they didn't have this stuff back in the day. So I don't like to abuse these garbage tactics, bro. Like, I like to earn my kills in the game. I have a certain respect for the PvP that not a lot of people have, you know what I mean? I like to, I feel better about earning my kills rather than doing shit like this the whole time. It's just garbage. And you could do the same thing in the Avenger. Just get on there in thermal, park up above the city and blow everybody up. I had somebody doing it to me the other night and I teleported back to my apartment and I was like, fuck this. I'm not going to sit here and yeah, it's not cool, but so, okay, moving on to the next one, we're going to go talk about uh, the uh, no number three, I guess I should say. Number three would be the uh, the RC cars. Okay, we're going to go ahead and teleport to the agency. So, they need to put some kind of a cooldown on the RC cars. Because, basically, you could go and call these vehicles in back to back and there's no cooldown on it it's insane i'm gonna show you okay and there's people that come at me all the time and kill me with rc cars and there's one guy he left a message in one of my videos the other day and this dude has never even killed me on ground never all the times i've ever fought him he's either been hiding in ghosts he orbs me all the time but he's never even killed me on ground once or he'll go and fucking hide in his rc cars dude 
that's not PvP to me. You know what I mean? It's being a bitch, <laughs> to be honest. Sorry to say it that way, but you're being a pussy. And you're being a bitch if you have to hide in an RC car all day. And I know there's going to be those idiots out there. It's in the game. Stop crying. You know, just deal with it. Yeah, but like I said, dude, I have everything. I own all these, and I don't even abuse them. You know what I mean? So there's three types of RC cars. Well, two types of RC cars, but three different ones. There's the RC car, the RC tank, and then one of the Amani cars. Okay, so this is my Amani car, uh, which I have set up to be an RC car as well. I'm going to go ahead and open my interaction menu and go to remote control vehicles. And now this is an RC car. Okay, I can run people over, uh, shoot them with the guns. I can detonate it as well. I think I forgot how you detonate it. How do you do this shit? Uh, oh, X. I think it's X. Okay. And there's people that just sit in these all day long. And, th like, the other day I was in a lobby, and this guy was never even on the radar because he kept running me over with his RC car. I'm like, dude, get on ground every once in a while. You know, you want to get kills on people, that's fine, but have a little fucking skill, dude. And then when this, when, the, when his uh, RC car would get destroyed, his Amani RC car, he would go and he would jump into his regular RC car. Like, look, you could go back to back pretty much in these with no cooldown. Somebody blows this up, you can go straight to the RC tank and then go and then once they're ready you can repeat the process again in like a minute there's a minute cooldown okay it's a minute yeah just like that and you could keep going and, and just going back and forth it's fucking insane there should be a lot longer of a cooldown for those um, or especially if you get a kill with uh, with them and kill somebody the Amani one has a two minute cooldown these are a little bit less you know they're only a minute but still, if you get a kill with somebody uh, on somebody with one of these, there should be like a five-minute cooldown on those. Same thing with the drone. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and call him the drone. Hey, my love. Now I'm gonna use my drone here. And the crazy thing is, once I use this, whether I get the kill on somebody or not, uh, I'm gonna back out real quick. And if I go and call in my terabyte right now and use the drone on my terabyte, there's a five-minute cooldown on that one. So, same as here, you'll see. I can't call it in for five more minutes, right? Why don't they do that with the RC cars? That would slow a lot of people down, man, from abusing their RC cars to get kills on people. Because there's people I see every day that will not fight on ground and they constantly have to hide in an RC vehicle. So, moving on to the next thing is going to be all the off radar tactics, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and register. Well, actually, I'm already registered as a CEO. I'm talking about ghost organization. Calling Lester to go off the radar for a minute, and then Amani out of sight, which is the newest one that was added with the agency. So you put those all together, you got four minutes, and then Amani out of sight. You can be off the radar as long as you want until you, you know, as long as you're in that circle and that proximity. And as long as you don't get a kill on anybody, you know, when you kill somebody, it ends. Okay. But you can basically hide off radar the whole time. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know if it counts, like, if you're in an organization with, like, two or three other people and they kill somebody in the in the circle. I don't know if it ends. I, I don't really know because I don't hardly ever use it. So if anybody knows if that works, just let me know. But, uh, yeah, so, but if you kill someone, the Amani out of sight will end. Okay. Um, yeah, but it, there's so many people that will not fight unless they go into ghost organization. It's just fucking sickening. And, or, or off radar in some way. I, I was in a lobby one night with one guy. He was off radar 15 times. In an hour, he went off the radar in one way, shape, or form. 15 times, dude. I counted, and I was like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? 15 times? Yeah, it, it was sickening, bro. Like, and there's so certain people that will not fight unless they can come at you off radar. So, and then there's also, which is moving on to the next thing, which is going to be BST, okay? If you don't know what BST is, register as a CEO or a VIP, and you can drop full shock. If you have a GTA Plus, basically it's a little pill that deals double the damage to other players that are not using it. So if I was fighting someone right now and they weren't dropping BST, I would basically get a one-shot kill on them pretty much every single time, no matter what. Okay, so, and, and it would also take, if they wanted to kill me, it would take two times as long for them to kill me, basically. It only deals half the damage to me. Okay, it deals double the damage if you're dropping it, and if it deals half the damage if someone is trying to kill you and they don't have it, right, if they didn't drop it. But now, if someone dropped BST and we're fighting against each other, 
uh, you know, then it basically equals itself out. It's pretty much, you know, it, it voids itself out, pretty much. Okay, which me leads me into the next thing. PvP and people blowing themselves up. So there's a way that they can change this. I don't know if they have to fix it in the coding somehow. Um, but there's a way that they could do this. I don't know how many times I've sniped at a jet when it's on its way down and hit it, and then it crashes into the ground and it awards me the kill. So if they could do it that way, or also, like there's been plenty of times that I'll get into my Deluxo or my Scramjet, and I'll go blow up someone's Oppressor Mark II. I won't kill them, but they'll jump off and I'll blow their Oppressor Mark II up, and then they smash into the ground and it still awards me the kill. I don't know how many times that's happened. Same thing with me. I don't know how many times it's happened when people have done it to me. But it's happened a lot. Okay. And so if there's a way that they can award it that way, there's got to be a way they can do it on ground. They need to fix this shit because there's so many people that I'll be fighting and will be sniping back and forth up the road. And they hit me and I like to play it out with them, but I hit them and they do this. They fucking EWO out instantly. It's such fucking bullshit. It's a garbage tactic. It needs to be fixed. That's why a lot of these toxic tryhards will not go into a 1v1 deathmatch with you. Because they know that if they EWO out, it's going to affect their kills. And it's going to take their kills away. So that's why they don't do it. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of them will not PvP in a 1v1 deathmatch with you. Because they can't blow themselves up or EWO out. They can't do it. You know, as soon as you get hit, that's all they do. They fucking, as soon as they get hit, they blow themselves up. And it's such a fucking garbage tactic. So, they really need to change it. Hopefully, one day, they will. And they just need to fucking put it in the coding somehow. Uh, because, like I said, if you can hit a jet on the way down and snipe it once, and you didn't even blow it up, but it smashes into the ground and crashes, it, au it automatically awards whoever made contact with the jet last. It awards them the kill. So, they definitely need to change that. Okay, moving on to the very last thing. Talking about the glitches. Okay, God Mode permanent off radar these are some of the most trashy things that a lot of toxic player players do like toxic tryhards and i see so many people that i fought a guy the other day he was not only in god mode he was in a god mode vehicle so he was doing two glitches at the same time okay thermal in a jet that's another really dangerous one i got killed earlier i was killing a bunch of people in the lobby we were having straight pvp and this asshole has to come I'm up above in a thermal jet, and I knew he was in a thermal jet, he's like, I'm not using it, I'm like, dude, yes you are, and come to find out when I messaged the dude through the Xbox, I reprimanded him for the same thing probably about a month ago, and I said, dude, you're still using thermal in a jet, still fucking cheating, and he's like, lol, I'm like, dude, why don't you just get better, why do you have to abuse that shit, and I already know I'm gonna catch a lot of shit for this, and people are like, just deal with it, stop crying, but yeah, dude, you can't do it, bro, Thermal shuts off as soon as you get into a jet. It's fucking cheating and it's garbage. It just, it's way, way overpowered and they need to fix it. And I hear all the time people say, oh, I saw they patched Thermal in a jet. They haven't patched it yet, dude. They're, they're not, they, I don't think they can. So, you know. But anyway, those are the top things that really, uh, that really bother me in Grand Theft Auto Online. The top worst toxic uh, tryhard strategies or tactics, I guess you could say. The toxic tryhards like to abuse in Grand Theft Auto Online. And I think it's bullshit. Some of these things could probably be fixed very easily. Put the cooldown on the RC cars. Um, you know, even Ghost Organization. You know what I mean? Let them, let there be like a three minute cooldown before they can go off radar and do another off radar tactic. You know what I mean? Before they can, this way they can't jump from one to another to another. Uh, there's a lot of things that they could do and hopefully they address these things one day, but all right guys I got to go back to work Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon